Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Samri. Welcome to the Lines, Lines Between, Between the, the Stars, Stars podcast. podcast. All right, so um, trigger warning for those who are watching. We're going to be mm-hmm. talking about death and like kind of like heavier topics, grieving, grieving yeah. stuff like that. So if you're uncomfortable with that, uh, go away. Give us a like and a subscribe <laughs> and watch and listen to our other other episodes. episodes. Yeah, okay. So, why are we talking about this? So, on Wednesday evening, I got a call from my, like, a conference call between my mother, me, and my brother. And I don't hear any words other than screaming and crying Mm -hmm. in the background. Yeah, yeah. So, I was like... What the heck? Did someone die? You're like, you're like, yeah, like did, did someone who die? Died. Yeah, who died, right? Yeah. And then I, I kind of, I, like, I was still in doubt, but I sort of figured out it was my oldest uncle. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, so my oldest uncle lived in Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. And he's a pretty respected public figure in Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. He wrote a book on journalism um, called uh, Who, What, Where, When, mm. and Why. Yeah. And so that's like the questions you ask when you're, you know, like in the Working journalism, journalism. Work yeah. world. Yeah. And his books, his book is used in, um, you know, the journalism to teach people journalism in Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yes, he's covered, you know, like, civil wars and, you know, a lot of things for BBC and stuff like that. Okay. Um, But, yeah, so, and I also spent some of my childhood at his place. Yeah. So, So I... very close. Yeah, we're pretty close. So, and, and like, yeah, like, we're sort of, like, the adopted kids of, mm-hmm. like, a lot of, of our aunts and uncles. Mm-hmm. So, it's, it's, you know, so he's sort of, like, an adopted father for yeah, me. Yeah, right. Or, like, a godfather or something, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and I respect him um, a lot and stuff like that. So, when I found out he passed away, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, like you were pretty shaken up, shaken up on mm-hmm. that from like I saw you. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, you're shaken up. I need to like mm-hmm. make sure you're doing okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. And then you were talking about like how like you didn't even know until like a different like family thing until like he was like mm-hmm. doing ill, like he was ill or anything. Like yeah, that. yeah. So my my cousin, so. My brother arranged this, like, this thing, elders meeting Mm -hmm. sort of thing, like, for the cousins. Mm -hmm. Because we all live in different parts of Of the world, world, you know. My other cousin lives in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. The rest live in Ethiopia. And then there's three of us in the States. Right. So the older cousins, Mm because there's younger ones who are, like, in middle school elementary school high school yeah so they're not included okay just like the not, ones we that's don't really they, know that's why we're not close called, to them yeah that's also why you're called the elders i suppose that yeah you yeah. always confused me but oh really like, okay why are you called now you understand yeah, okay, now okay. I understand. yeah that's why all right so it's because it's like the core cousins we all grew up together mm-hmm. like siblings and the newer cousins i don't really know them yeah i don't really know their birthday like Mm -hmm. They were born after I left Ethiopia, so, like, yeah. I mean, it would be nice if I, like, have time to get to know them, Mm -hmm. definitely. But, yeah, it's hard to do nowadays. Yeah, yeah. I I would have to fly to Ethiopia and, like, get some time with them. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure in the future that'll happen. Okay. Yeah. Um, But anyway, so I found out from my other cousin who's in Ethiopia that, like, my uncle was in a coma, and I was like, "Whoa, okay." Yeah, yeah. I mean, we won't go into details of what what caused it mm-hmm. here to yeah. preserve private, you know, privacy, privacy, and all that stuff. Okay. 
Um, but but yeah, so the reason why I was not like super devastated、mm-hmm. was because of、you、that found, meeting. Yeah, you found out a little bit beforehand. Yeah, because、yeah. my the my aunts, uncles, and my mom especially, like she she make she tells her siblings、mm-hmm. not to tell her kids anything. Yeah, like she, she, I guess treats us like we're five. Yeah, five years old,、mm-hmm. even though she expects a lot from us、yeah. in other ways. Right, you know,、mm-hmm. like you know, I bought the house she、yeah. lives in. Yep. Um, Miki helped. You know, my brother helped with the down payment.、Mm-hmm. Uh, he just set up a security system for the house. Yeah. Um, so like a lot of you know. Adult responsibilities are put on us. Yep. But they don't trust us with like with a, like the like emotional, emotional heart, part. Yeah. Parts, yeah. Which is which is messed up. It is a little bit messed up in my、yeah. opinion. Like um like I get where she might be coming from because I know your mom.、Mm-hmm. You know, like your mom is probably like, oh, they probably I don't want to like、mm. harm their harm. She doesn't want to harm you too. You know,、mm-hmm. she doesn't want to harm you too, and like for her, she's also probably really devastated too. Yeah, she yeah. probably doesn't want you to to be devastated like she is feeling. You know, like、mm-hmm. she is feeling. But、mm-hmm. at the same time, it's just like you're only just making like she doesn't have the like the knowledge that it's going to be like worse off, right?、Mm-hmm. And I think we were talking about this before,、mm. but like your family, I think has a weird way of like dealing with death. Yeah, yeah. Like you,、mm. like your your family doesn't usually communicate things very、yeah. well. Like from like multiple different stories you told me. Yeah. The thing that I get the most is like your family's just bad at communicating with each other. Yeah. In general, yeah. like yeah. not just about like these heavy things,、mm-hmm. but like lighter things too, right? Yeah, and like it shows even like with your your brother sometimes too. Like,、oh. um, your brother didn't mention he was sick when like you were about to come over when、mm. you were about to come over, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's like one of those things. It's like we should have known, you know, like、yeah. we should have known about that. Yeah, and it's like you know even it it seems like that tradition or like mentality is passing on to us as well. Yeah, because like you, because remember when. We went to my family. Everyone was mentioning, "Oh, I took a co- you know,、mm. like、COVID test." Things. You're like weirded out by that. You're yeah, like, like, why are you they tell? Why are they talking about this? <laughs> I'm like, babe, this is like it's like it, because it's like the exact opposite of what your family does. That's true. Yeah, I was I was like, why are they talking about like, oh, we might have gotten exposed, so we took the antigen test on this day, and this is the result. And I'm like. What are they trying to say that we should take the test? No, it's just that's like, that's how I took it. I was like, yeah, what、well, are they trying to say? Yeah, and what I had to tell you is like what they're trying to say is that they took the COVID test and they were they they wanted us to know and they wanted everyone else to know. Make sure you know, make sure. Because I mean, I was relaxed after your mom messaged us、yeah. saying, "Oh, it doesn't mean that you have to take the test." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, okay. I think my mom's getting that. Like, my mom's understanding you. <laughs> She's like,、yeah. oh, make sure. <laughs> <laughs> make sure Sammy doesn't freak out yeah, yeah, or yeah. have a weird misunderstanding. Yeah,、okay. yeah. I think she's understanding. Like, okay, got to be more like communicate, like communicated.、Mm. And it's just kind of something that like my family, we just、mm-hmm. like commute. We just like you know, if a thing happens, we're like,、mm-hmm. oh yeah, hey, like heads up, like heads up. Right.、Mm. Uh, I mean, sometimes like I am actually the type that's actually like, if it's something that will affect yeah, others. Yeah.、Uh, if it will affect others. Yeah. Then we tell them one hundred percent because、yeah. it's like important for us to know.、Mm. Right. Because if I swear, like, if I did something like your brother, like what your brother did,、mm. I'd be yelled. Like everyone would like lose all respect for me. Like、mm. lose all respect for me. Yeah, and yeah. That's why I got really mad when your brother did that. Like, yeah, did yeah. That because this is—it's like from my upbringing. It's like、mm-hmm. that sort of thing doesn't happen in my family. Yeah, if it if it has the potential to negatively affect affect、someone. other people, then you should tell them. Yeah. Then they can decide. Okay, maybe、yeah. you shouldn't come over. Yeah, exactly. The like the the thing is, is like that whole thing was like、mm-hmm. maybe someone's worried about it. 
Mm-hmm. Like maybe someone was worried about it. Like I remember, like remember first time I was like, "Hey everyone, uh, could we like do Thanksgiving over like Zoom or something like that?" Right for mm-hmm. during like the height of like the pandemic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I like mm-hmm. voiced. I was like, un- I was concerned about that. Mm-hmm. So I think my family re- remembered that like I was concerned about that. And that's mm-hmm. why they mentioned it. it's like, hey, like mm-hmm. here, like we might have gotten exposed. Here mm-hmm. are the results. Use this information how you will. Yeah, yeah, because you know, I <clears throat> also go to a Pilates gym mm-hmm. nearby, and I didn't. I stopped going there because I wanted to quarantine for yeah. the yeah the exactly meeting. like I quarantined for the, for the meeting too. New Year's, yeah. yeah. You know, it's just kind of like one of those things where it's just like yeah, and so and also I just remembered, and this is why I'm also like weirded out by like how your family was reacting. The way that my family dealt with death and stuff is completely different from your family like it's like mm-hmm. the opposite it's like the opposite sort of thing where like i remember my grandma like wasn't mm-hmm. doing well and she was in the hospital and it's kind of mm-hmm. like the doctors gave my family you know my doctors gave my family like a pretty mm-hmm. bad you know mm-hmm. prognosis like hey she's gonna be going pretty soon mm-hmm. i remember my dad just calling like i was at work oh, okay i was at work my dad was like, get to the hospital now. This is like, your la- like your grandma's not doing well. Mm-hmm. G- go here so you can have some last words. Mm. Right? And I think that happened because like a lot of it, like my grandpa died suddenly. Oh, okay. So a lot of us didn't get last words with my grandpa. Mm. So like, okay. he, my dad was like, do it now. Okay. I think. I think that's where he was coming from. Okay, okay. But yeah. it was very, like, emotionally mature. Like, it, it was mm-hmm. very, like, you know, like, that sort of thing where we did. And I had a few, like, you know, my grandma doesn't understand English. She was, she had dementia, so she mm-hmm. wasn't really there all night. But me, I remember that. Like, I remember mm-hmm. going to the hospital mm-hmm. and being, like, you know, saying some last words to my grandma. And I mm-hmm. think I really appreciate what my dad did there, you know? Oh, okay. And then okay. at the funeral, like... Uh, the wake during like the whole like wake like Mm -hmm. my entire family was there even like the young even like the kids like Mm -hmm. five who are like you know like five-year-olds not really getting why like all their all the grown-ups are crying or anything Mm -hmm. like that yeah and like you know they were confused but like they're like oh why is why is the grandma crying Uh, like Mm -hmm. you know for some of these kids like oh like the grandma is just my aunt so Mm -hmm. they're like oh why is grandma crying so much oh okay like they don't they don't know Oh, but okay. then, like, that was gave that my cousins just told him, like, look, you know, like, great grandma died, and she's mm-hmm. really sad, you know, she's gone now, and your grandma's really sad, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So you just explain it as they ask. Yeah, you just explain mm-hmm. it as they ask, because, like, kids don't know, like, kids don't know. Yeah, yeah. But they are also intelligent enough to, like, piece yeah. things together. Like, kids, yeah. kids are... Kids aren't intellectually mature, but they're ma- emotionally there. I think children are very emotionally intelligent. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Like, because okay. that's the one thing that they can, they understand, yeah. right? And mm-hmm. as, like, even as a baby, you can't communicate via, like, words or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You have to communicate via Through emotion. emotion yeah. So kids, I feel like, are more in touch mm. with, like, emotions. That's true. They express their emotions right away too yeah and then as they grow older they learn okay maybe i shouldn't just like go and like uh throw a fit over yeah like, right this mm-hmm. maybe i should just like voice my emotions yeah. instead yeah exactly so it's yeah. kind of like a thing i think i i respect kids in that regard of being mm-hmm. able to like emotionally like you know like communicate yeah. like yeah. emotionally communicate yeah being open yeah because yeah. as adults like we tend not to do that as much yeah yeah yeah, that's, I guess, the negative part. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, but then, you know, like, kids might, like, throw a fit over nothing, right? That's so, true, yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's, it's For like, them, it's everything. Like, yeah, their whole yeah. world, like, they didn't get the candy they wanted, so it's like, oh, no! Yeah, exactly. So, it's, you know, it's kind of like one of those things. But, like, you mm-hmm. need it. To, it's, it was kind of like, I remember just saying, like, oh, yeah, like, the kids learning about that. And mm-hmm. I remember you telling me, like, when your yeah. great aunt died and like how you guys just got locked up in a room oh yeah so what happened was yeah like when my grandma actually you know like got really sick mm-hmm. so 
she didn't tell her kids either、mm-hmm. that she was feeling sick. Yeah, because they could have, you know, like she could have had more time. Yeah, on Earth, if she、mm-hmm. told them early enough. Yeah, because you know when it's、uh, some kind of cancer, they can like. Put you in a treatment. Yeah, it could go into remission. They can make it. They can make you feel more comfortable. Yeah, more comfortable, less painful. Like yeah, I remember her, she used to like scream and cry because of how painful yeah her、uh, breast cancer was. Yeah, but she also told me, cause um yeah like we she raised us at the uncle who just passed away like、mm-hmm. his apartment. Yeah, and. At that place,、um, I, you know, when I think about it, actually now I feel she might have moved to his place so that the rest of her, you know, kids wouldn't find out、oh, how、yeah. sick she is.、Mm-hmm. And then, since、uh, my uncle is very like private and like、yeah. he works a lot and stuff like that,、mm-hmm. he wouldn't actually know she's sick, you know. Yeah, yeah. So then, anyway, so like I moved. To be with her, and then、mm-hmm. my brother moved, and then my other cousin moved. Yeah. To all live together. Yeah. But near the end, like, uh, she was really sick,、mm-hmm. and then she was like, "Sammy, don't tell the grownups that I'm sick." Oh my gosh! Yeah. So then, when she got really sick, it was like the last stage of the cancer where、uh-huh. you can't do anything about、yeah. it except for like, okay. Mm-hmm. Let's give you morphine so you're not like in constant pain. Yeah. So at that stage, you know, it might have. I feel like the our aunts and uncles, what they got from that is, oh, maybe we should continue this、yeah. tradition of like not telling the kids what they're going through. Right. And just cause like. They can justify it by saying, "Oh, it's because we don't want to distract you from your work." Right. You, you know, know like, there's like, always an excuse. There's always an excuse. Yeah, that's that's what they told me.、Mm-hmm. You know, they're like, "Yeah, we didn't tell、and、you like, about your uncle." Heck, and heck, like,、mm-hmm. here's the thing: like, you've been working at your new job for like six months. That's like enough.、Mm-hmm. To, like, that's no longer a new job at that point. That's like you're just your job. Yeah, yeah. It's. I've been in this field for yeah more than six months. Yeah. Like, It's like and, the boot camp. and really, just in my opinion, it shows、mm-hmm. like just lack of respect. Yeah, yeah, for the younger generation. Yeah, and like, yeah, I feel like in my family, that's like almost like on grounds of just like, okay, I guess I'm not going to speak with you anymore or anything like that. You know, it's、mm-hmm. like that's very like, in my family, like we would be like really insulted if you did that.、Mm. You know, like if you're like if like we weren't told something like this.、Mm-hmm. Or like any of the like you know if like like say like grandpa like grandpa collapses in the hospital my dad didn't communicate that to like any of the other uncles yo my everyone would be mad at my dad yeah like everyone would like、mm. punches I feel like punches would be thrown because of that you know、mm. so yeah it's yeah, kind of like one of those things of like、mm-hmm. it's like you know like. You and it's kind of like the thing of like even like in like a relationship in general,、mm. you don't just share the happy moments. You share、yeah. the bad moments too. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's good to communicate like every stage of something that might affect someone else. Yeah, and I think、mm-hmm. like a lot of times, I think like maybe your family is like, oh, the parents have to show that they are strong in front of their kids.、Mm. They're not allowed to show weakness in front of their kids at all. Okay. But like, I think. And I get the fact, like you know, like being an authority, like if you're、mm-hmm. tr- being a figure of authority, you, in front of your kids, you have to look like you know you're like, you know, you can, like your kids can fall back on you, right? You have to look look like you're like,、mm. more, like you're the structural support, right? I guess.、Mm. But like, I mean, it that doesn't make you know. It does, it's not right. It's not yeah, right. Yeah. Like I said, like it's not right. But like、yeah. it is like you.、That、it is a very common. Is a very common thing, like a lot of common thing. Like a lot of parents, like feel uncomfortable showing their kids weakness, right? Like how many times,、uh, like maybe like a fa- you've heard a story about like a kid being someone growing up being like, yeah, apparently like my family was like super poor, but I didn't really know that. 
you know mm. that because my parents didn't and like my family was oh, yeah, like, super yeah. hardcore in debt but like yeah, yeah. everyone they didn't mention that you know mm-hmm. so like there is that sort of thing mm. there is that sort of thing but like where like maybe the kid doesn't need to know yeah right? yeah yeah they don't but, need to worry about that yeah but with the with death mm. that's such a big deal when because i'm thinking maybe it's like they want to preserve the privacy of the person they're in in yeah. concern because like you know it would have been nice if i knew about his illness you know that caused the yeah. the death because like it happened like it started really years ago you, you i didn't know about yeah. that yeah and heck you could have had like a lot like here's the thing like you could have had like maybe like a last conversation or something like that or like yeah last, if i knew uh, that, yeah like yeah. the last like few words like that's like kind of like the mm. one thing that i know that I, you hear a lot right just like having mm-hmm. last words with someone right yeah i i would have been more like oh i need to call him yeah and stuff like that instead of like you know, it, it would have given more context to what he was asking us, you know? Yeah, right. And I'm like... Because he was asking us to, like, build him a website. Mm-hmm. Like, he wanted... Maybe he, you know... I, I feel like people know mm-hmm. that their time is coming. Yeah. So he was he was asking us to collect all his journalistic yeah. works okay. and put it on a website. So yeah, like so make, like I was know, like I did, I had no idea. Yeah. So like if I knew about his sickness, uh-huh. then I would have been like, oh okay, that's why he's doing that, yeah. and maybe I could have like, mm. I don't know, like supported him maybe financially, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. like in this way, uh, yeah, it's just when when you're put in the dark this way, it's it makes you like. Am I even part of this family? Like, yeah. am I adopted? I don't right, know. Because, right. like, I don't really look like my mom. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, it puts all these things into question that right. you shouldn't think and about. it's... I kind of, like, was like, okay, look. Your family's just really bad at communicating. Mm-hmm. I don't think, like... I don't, th- I don't agree with what they did mm-hmm. at all. I mm-hmm. think, like, it's rather atrocious. Mm-hmm. But I see where they're coming from they do have they have their own way of being like oh yeah we're shielding you we're shielding you mm-hmm. right which in itself is kind of like patronizing you oh, know? yeah yeah it's very, very patronizing yeah. because you're like oh like you're not like you want like you're like late 20s almost 30 you know? <laughs> i'm 30 it's 30? fine okay i'm okay with telling all people right, my right. age <laughs> <laughs> all right all right, all right, all right cool. <laughs> I was trying to be as big as possible. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's like, yo, hey, like, we pay taxes. Mm-hmm. We pay taxes. We, like, do adult things. Yeah. Like your, fa- your, mo- your mom's more, like, dependent on, mm-hmm. you, on you and your brother yep. than, than the other way around yep. at this yep. point. It, it switched once we graduated college. Yeah. So, like that's a thing you know like that's a thing too Mm -hmm. and so like really like it's i pay all the bills i don't even use the utilities but i still pay for the house bills and the mortgage yeah you know yeah exactly so it's it puts you in this like weird dichotomy like weird world of like when i'm interacting with my aunts and uncles on mm -hmm. my mom's side yeah it's like the the way they see me is really weird yeah and i i have to keep that in mind whenever i interact with them Mm -hmm. or or there would be like conflict or like lecture sessions about like you're also this is why we don't tell you this yeah you're also like american mm -hmm. too so like that's another yeah and i'm half jamaican too so I'm not completely Ethiopian, yeah, you know? Yeah, and if anything you do that's, like, bad, like, oh, like, it's because you're, like... It's uh, the it's, Jamaican it's side. Jamaican side or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, So yeah. it's... It, it is it is interesting because, like, I, I see myself as a mixed person. Mm-hmm. Even though in the uh, quote-unquote mixed... Like, if I say I'm mixed, people will be like, wait, what? Yeah. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. You're just black. (laughs) (laughs) Like, someone in Clubhouse had a fit about, like, me calling myself mixed Mixed, because I'm, like, 
mixed between you know the east and the west side of africa basically uh -huh. yeah and and a bit of like british blood in there yeah so like and he's like no you're not mixed you're black you're black you're black yeah it's so, like that's like crazy you know? yeah like, i mean like heck like you know we in like asian communities if mm -hmm. someone's like half chinese half Vietnamese, we call them mixed oh really yeah four percent like we just call okay. them they're mixed You know? oh, okay, because because the cultures are different. Yeah, the that? cultures are very different. Oh, okay, you know, like you know, like if you're like half Chinese, half like something, it's like oh yeah, like you're you're mixed, especially like different culture. You have like two mm. different cultures going around. Or like half Japanese and yeah, half, yeah, 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 because of the history and politics between the cultures. Yeah, kind of. I don't know the oh, okay. exact reason, but yeah, I just know that like we we, we like people think I'm mixed state like you know. Like, yeah, yeah. They look at me like other Vietnamese people is like, oh, "Are you mixed?" Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, they're like, like they might be thinking, "Do you have some white in you?" Do you have some white or heck like they're like, "Oh, do you have like some Japanese in you or like mm. another Asian in you?" That sort of thing. Yeah. That like that that comes up a lot for me, right? Yeah. So like <laughs> it's funny cuz I'm not even mixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> But I get the quest I get the question. I get the questions a lot. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, "Okay, all right." Yeah, he's he's full Yeah, full of Vietnamese. Full Vietnamese. But yeah, it's cuz one of those things where like it weirds me out like it weirds me out when like you you mentioned like and i think like it weirds you out when like you see the opposite in my family how yeah yeah, yeah. Like, overly, i'm like what's going on here like overly like you like freaked out yeah and i'm like what are you freaking out babe? <laughs> like, dude, it's not yeah i out. mean like it's a good thing to note for our listeners too because like if you're interested in dating interculturally or interracially all that stuff then you have to keep that in mind that like if if it's something that you experience that's like really uncomfortable for you it's mm -hmm. like for the other person it's really normal because yeah. they grew up in that family yeah and then it's good to it's ask another and, like, thing too mm -hmm. um especially if your significant other is someone not who comes from a family that's not from the u.s Like they mm -hmm. come from a different country, like because mm -hmm. you you have like an Ethiopian fam, very like mm -hmm. like we don't have American families, or like yeah, yeah, our parents us, yeah. our parents weren't born in America or raised in America. They were yeah. raised in a different country. Yeah, which like we're both like what is it, second generation? We're both second generation kids. Mm -hmm. Um, so they our parents grew up in their own like culture cultures yeah. where like you know like things were very specific right? yeah yeah like as an mm -hmm. asian kid grew up with like our parents putting like expectations on us mm -hmm. like really high yeah, and, yeah like being very specific in a very specific way mm -hmm. which may or may not be kind of effed up you know like which mm -hmm. may be a little bit effed up yeah but like for my parents that's how they were raised yeah like and, and that's mm -hmm. how everyone else around them was raised mm-hmm But then, like, you know, we go we go here now, like, we're in America, we have a very, we have a big mixture of cultures. Mm -hmm. And when you see some other kids growing up a different way, you're like, wait a minute. The way that I'm being raised kind of messed up, you know, like, mm -hmm. they don't, like, you know, like, the, these kids are growing up this certain way and they're all right, you know, like, yeah, yeah. they're all right, you know? Yeah. So it's like, kind of like a thing that you Even see. Even though they talk back to their mothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not, I mean, not one. Like we're we're just saying in general. We're being yeah. very generalized. Yeah. We're being very generalized. There's like, like some things that are better. Some things. Some things that are, are better. Not. Some things are not. Like you know, there's. I mean, heck, there's like some kids. Like you know, they're not allowed to talk back to their mothers too. You know, like not mm. talk back to the mothers because their dad would be like beat the shit out. You know, mm. beat them up or something like that. Right. Yeah. Like that's it's it's very dependent. Mm. Very dependent. Right. It's not cultural, it's more family. It's more family too, mm -hmm. you know. And that's, I mean, that's just general life. Like sometimes like your yeah, partner yeah, yeah. grew up in a different, your partner grew up with different values in their family mm -hmm. from like the, there was a race in the family. And a lot of that is like passed down. Oh yeah. Like, and the, the thing I'm seeing is when people pass down different behaviors, mm -hmm. it's, they communicate it as like, oh, this is how I was raised. Mm -hmm. So this is how I'm going to raise you. Yeah. I am, I I seem to be, you know, like, all put together. Mm -hmm. You know, they feel like, okay, I turned out well. Yeah. So I, I can raise the, 
my kids the same way and they will also be okay. Yeah. You know, even though what they're doing is yeah, not, exactly. Is it's like up. oh, it's like I turned out all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, I can that's do this. what everyone. That's says. what everyone thinks. That's what everyone thinks. Like here's the thing too. Uh, kids, kids aren't born racist. Mm-hmm. They're like they they learn to be racist. Mm-hmm. For example, like. Like you don't th- like a kid, a kid like a white kid isn't like gonna be birthed out of the womb and be like I'm gonna be a racist supremacist, mm-hmm. a race supremacist. You know, <laughs> they're learned to be like that. Yeah, their yeah. parent, they like see like they see like their 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 father or mother figure like call mm-hmm. like a black a black person the n word mm-hmm. or like talk down upon on yeah. them, right? And so the kid picks that up. Yeah, yeah. The kid picks that up and be like, "Oh, that must be our, you know, mm-hmm. like, a lot of this, a lot of the things we learn, like we learn from our parents." Yeah, and it's something that you have to be intentional about breaking. Yeah. So that you don't pass it on. Yeah, exactly. Like if there are habits that you do not like, you have to be very intentional of like, "Oh, like I do not like this." Like yeah. I have to be like, like I like. You have to be conscious about not passing it on. Like, yeah. Not repeating it. Yeah, because it's very hard. Like mm-hmm. you know, like there's, like um, all of it. Most of it is unconscious. Yeah, exactly. Like for really me, like I actually like people call me like a very patient and like very like calm, chill, per- like calm, chill person. But I'm pretty sure that like I have quite the temper. Like I have like mm. quite the temper. Oh yeah. But I'm like very. It shows up. <laughs> it shows briefly, up. and I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, it shows up very briefly, but I'm like. <laughs> he suppresses it right away. He's yeah, like, yeah, because I'm caught like I'm a aware. whack-a-mole kind I, of thing. Yeah, because I'm very aware of it. Like I'm very oh, aware okay. of it because like I grew up with my mm. dad being very like high tempered. Mm. My dad was very high tempered when like grow up, and he was you know it's like one now of those he's things. chill. Now he's chi- he's more definitely more he's chilled out through the years. He's gotten older, so he's chilled out more. Mm. But like growing up, like I had to be super scared of my dad. Like I'm not mm-hmm. gonna like blow him up. Like mm. I can't like blow him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, you know, everyone has their own uh, traumas and triggers yeah. they work through. Yeah. And in, in, in ways, like, when they raise children, mm-hmm. um, they, like, if we have kids, we have to be aware that our childhood traumas are going to show up, too. Yeah, yeah. Because the very act of raising and seeing other people grow up yeah. triggers people. Mm-hmm. Like, I can see, oh, this kid is being raised with both parents. Yeah. For me, that is triggering. Yeah. You know, okay. it's a messed up thing to say, but for me, I, I get, like, this, like, deep, there is a, deep sadness. Yeah. There was this um, thing that my... We, we went to celebrate Lunar New Year with, like, you know, my family. Happy New Lunar... Happy Year of the Tiger, everyone, by the way. Year of the Tiger. Um, but... It was kind of one of those things where, like, the kids were like, "Oh, hey, macaroons!" Right? And they got into, the, they went for like the macaroons, and then like my, I think my sister was like, "Man, our kids grew up super bougie." Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, I bought some macaroons. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, but like, it's kind of like you know, because like all the like they were talking about like how like you know my siblings talking about how they grew up like really really poor. Mm-hmm. That's something that like you know they. Like, you know, and that, they were aware that they were poor too, which yeah. is something different than like other kids who are like, oh, I didn't know I was poor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like for for me and my brother, mm-hmm. we we weren't really aware of our financial situation. Yeah. So it didn't weigh on us as much as I think weighs on your siblings. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. growing up, if if you know, oh, this I can't wear the latest clothing and stuff like yeah. that. And for teenagers, mm-hmm. that's their whole life, yeah. right? And for them, it's just kind of like, oh, like I can't, or not just clothes. Sometimes it's just doing stuff with like your oh, friends. Oh, activities? Like activities, right? Oh. Like I know, so like in the opposite sense, because like I actually grew up the like opposite from my siblings. But like, I know that like there are some activities that I wanted to do, mm-hmm. but my friend's going to join me because it like costs money. Oh, like, did you go to camps and stuff? No, not camps. Just like, oh, hey, I like I like doing this hobby, right? Oh, And then they're like, okay. oh, I can't join you in that hobby because, like, it costs oh. too much money, right? The oh, okay. the, mo- the one thing that I remember was take doing martial arts. Mm. I loved martial arts growing up as a kid. And I wanted to, like, hey, you want to do martial arts with me? They're like, yeah, sure. And they see it and they're like, I can't afford it. Mm. So that was, like, a thing that, like, I knew growing up. Like, oh, my friends, like, don't. Mm. My friends 
don't oh, okay. aren't as like aren't as lucky as I am in terms mm. of like you know like their parents doing financially well. Yeah, yeah. And I grew up true. like very like consciously aware of that, and even like my siblings, oh. like I knew that my siblings grew up in a different time where like they couldn't afford. They didn't get that. They didn't get that, right? Oh, so they didn't get to like if they had. Like if they wanted to go to a dance club or like whatever. If they wanted to do martial arts, yeah, they couldn't do it. Or like take up some kind of musical instrument. Uh, I think we did get music instruments because I remember like my brother playing the trumpet and like my sister playing the piano, like sister playing. The piano. Oh, okay. But they had to do like they had to like find ways to do it. You know, um, it was like very much like okay, like we have to like save up for the you know like very much thing. Mm. But like for example, like martial arts where you have to pay like a lot of money like every uh, for every so often. Like oh, it's like okay. kind of like one of those things. It's one yeah, of yeah, those yeah. things, right? Yeah, and there are some some kids who like do even more expensive. Yeah, that have like that have to like travel the country. Like yeah, yeah. my younger cousin. Is really good at running and yeah. you know basic, basic like soccer and stuff. And her parents travel all across the country I, for a, her. I have a niece that's like super into golf. Oh yeah, golf is super expensive. <laughs> you uh, know, it's like the richest like sport that oh, someone yeah. has to do. You know, and they have she has to travel. Yeah, she had to travel everywhere. They mm. traveled with her. Like she mm. was also really talented. She's also like the top one, of the top like players in Washington State. Oh, okay. So she was really talented and gifted, you know, like gifted, mm. right? Do you know if she's going to pursue it? Yeah, she's like going, she got scholarships to like play golf for like schools and stuff. Oh, like nice. That. Yeah, like That's she's cool. Like, she was the one that we went to the graduate, uh, that mm -hmm. went to the graduation with. Uh, nice, for. nice. But yeah, it was like, uh, she, I mean, like her, she gets to go on the things now on her own because she's old enough. But like, mm. I remember my cousin being like, oh go to these things anymore <laughs> they're uh, like oh it's fun but like man i don't have to go it's nice because like oh the parents are not there kind of like thing? the parents are like oh we don't have to travel anymore <laughs> oh you know we don't have to like spend all our oh, like yeah. we can travel for us rather yeah, than yeah, yeah. travel for the kid it's, it's kind of like mm. a fun interesting thing to see yeah but yeah, yeah like it's kind of like one of those things where like mm. you grow up and like yeah just doing things like doing yeah. things right yeah like each generation has something that they didn't get to do that yeah. is being done for the next generation. Yeah, and it's like a different yeah. feel. Like you, you get a certain feeling about that, right? Yeah. But but yeah. Yeah. So when, whenever you're grieving, if something like that happens to you, and then so after, um, you know, I I went to. Okay, so after. Wednesday night when mm -hmm. I found out, um, like right away, like my brother was doing all these things for the family, like helping my uncle mm -hmm. travel, like get the tickets, get the PCR test expedited, yeah. all that stuff, mm -hmm. paying for my uncle's hotel and stuff like that, mm -hmm. setting up security system for the house. Yeah. So I'm seeing how my brother is grieving in a different way than yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. And... So the way that I am dealing with it is so on Thursday I thought I I could just work yeah. and do my code review and mm -hmm. other meetings and stuff fine. Yeah. And well, uh, but then I was like oh, I can't do it. Yeah. No, like I can't like, do this. Like I asked <laughs> Sam like should I tell my my boss about it and like take bereavement time off? And he, and you're like, yeah, definitely. Go. You should, you should do, do it. it. Do it. <laughs> and then, like, I, I, like, typed up stuff and, like, uh, told my mentorship team mm -hmm. that I would be moving the, the code review to, like, Monday and stuff like that. And, like, as I was typing it up, I was like, it all came to me. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's passed away. And, mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm, I'm all the way in the U.S., yeah. you know. Not, not the, in that. Yeah, yeah can't I can't go, to, go the to the funeral. Like, yeah, it's 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 just too much money. Yeah. Like if if we, cause like the hassle because of COVID, mm -hmm. travel is like less yeah. less pleasant. Even, even with the whole like traveling because of yeah uh, because of death sort of mm -hmm. reason. It's you know? so hard. Yeah, it's really hard. And um, 
Yeah, so like, uh, I I was like, oh my god. Okay, let me just take the rest of the.、Uh, my manager was like, okay, take all the time you need. Yeah. We understand, and I was like, okay, I'll take the rest of the day off.、And、I'll also take Friday off. Also, like a thing, like okay, look, if you、mm-hmm. work at a company that won't let you take time off. Oh. For like a death of a loved one or something,、mm. even if it has to be like under the table, like、mm. because like、mm. I definitely know people like people like where like the company is technically not okay with you going out, but then、mm. like the manager is like, all right, we're gonna just do this under the table, you know, stuff、mm. like that.、Mm-hmm. Yo, if you if that's the case, like yo, get a new like try、yeah. to find a new job because like death, it's like there's people like you know there's places that are like, oh your family died, well who cares like. You still work. It still work.、Oh. You know, that usually gets done in like the service industry. You know,、oh, okay, like, like people who work、okay. in the, like restaurants or like fast food or big chain. You know, big like restaurant trains where they don't respect the workers very much.、Oh. You know that sort of thing. Like,、oh, okay. like no, you gotta come in. You know, yeah. And it's like f- messed up. It's messed up. Yeah, yeah.、You're, it's really messed up. Yeah. Yeah, like ask your boss. Look, if I have a dead relative and you're gonna like, are you gonna make me work that day? <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's something that people should ask before what, during the interview process, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like, like it's find like, out. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's it's because the inter like because like look if they're gonna make you work on those days then that's kind of messed up. Yeah,、right? yeah. I guess I guess it's like part of the benefit package. Yeah, it's like you know bereavement days, you know stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, but if like they're like not gonna even like. You know they're not going to even respect that. Like,、mm. it, is stocking these shelves really that important?、Mm. I mean, that's one other thing of like you know whole great resignation sort of thing too. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Where yeah. people are like finding out this、yeah. sort of thing about their works and it's like yeah,、wow. I'm sure a lot of the people who quit are like, you know, I I missed out on a lot of things because COVID brought all these like the whole life and death. Mm-hmm. The whole philosophy part of it, like how life is so short, and people people、mm-hmm. experienced a lot of death these、mm-hmm. last years, and a lot of people probably like had the experience of a loved one catching COVID,、mm-hmm. and then that loved one dying, and, and then, then they, they couldn't the, do anything. And then they yeah. yeah, and then they're like, "Can I take like the day off to their boss?" And then they're like, "No, you gotta work." Yeah, <clears throat> that like would piss. Yeah, that would piss. Most、That's、people、true. off. Like I would be so mad, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'd be like, "Yo, I'm quitting." You know, like that exactly. Sort of yeah. Like that sort of. It's not you know. It's people like, oh yeah, this generation's like, oh imagine being like told you can't like grieve.、Mm-hmm. Tell 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 someone like, oh yeah, just like suck it up, like suck it up and work, even though、mm-hmm. like you just lost your like mother or a gra-、yeah. grandparent, you know, that you've like had years of like spending time with.、Mm. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> definitely. I feel. Maybe the older generation, you know, like they went through a lot of like wars and stuff, you、yeah. know, like the boomer generation and stuff like that,、uh-huh. where they're like, yeah, we we had to like, we had to work days where you know people around us were dying left and right. Yeah. So not, you should be able to do even it. Even then, not really, not really, because usually wars are like done with like people going to wars and like not specifically like oh like them. This is like something that hits like civilians, right? This、yeah, yeah. It's everyone. I mean, like even <clears throat> for the family、mm-hmm. that's in the U.S. Yeah, having their dads or some of their moms go to war and stuff like、yeah. that, and if they pass away, they keep working、yeah. or something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they took bereavement time off. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe. they were actually more. Because usually military,、now. like military families, it's like oh they get it right.、Mm. Like usually with like military families, it's like oh we get. They're、it. prepared for yeah, it. Yeah, they're prepared for it. Yeah. But this、That's、is like、true. something that just hits like just the everyday person.、Mm. Or like oh yeah, you're not prepared for not it. Not prepared for it. Heck,、yeah. maybe like the like you know like people are being like. Or for like the first time, being aware of like mass death, like you know, just like、mm. dealing, like dealing with death, right? That's true. Yeah.、And、so yeah, it's the anxiety. It's, yeah, like the anxiety of doing、yeah. all of that, you know. And, and then and, yeah, I took Friday off、mm-hmm. for I got、uh, a day off for、yeah. so for、uh, aunts, uncles, cousins,、mm-hmm. you get a eight hours. Yeah. If it's a parent or a sibling or 
uh, a kid, then you get five days. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, so I mean, anyways, that's part of my benefits, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So people who don't get those benefits can't take those days off. Yeah. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah, so I took I took the rest of the day on Thursday mm. off, and then I I did I drive to you drove to five and five. Olympia. Okay. So I drove to my. You went on Thursday. My you, mom's you, yeah, you left, place. You left on Thursday, and then I didn't come home the next day. Yeah. Yeah. And then I stayed over at my aunt's place in Olympia, mm. and it, it was it was a nice time. And yeah, like I started crying like right when I was like communicating with everyone. I was like, "Yeah, this happened," and they're like, "My condolences. I'm so sorry." And I was like, mm. "Ah." And yeah. then I went to the bathroom and I started crying. Yeah, and, uh, and you then, came out, then I like came out. I was about to get. I was, I was about to head out because I needed to pick something up for my work. And then you know, oh, like, okay. You're like looking at me. I was like, I'm like, you were about to cry. You have like, you looked like you were either crying. Oh yeah. Or like about to I was cry crying. more. And then I was like, okay, let's sit down. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's sit down. Let's sit down. Yeah. I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. And then I was like telling Sam about my uncle yeah. and how I grew up and mm-hmm. how I saw him and how I didn't get the chance to like say yeah. my last words because I had no idea because my family didn't tell me. Yeah. So yeah, like, um, communicate. Yeah. Not only in romantic relationships, but communicate with your kids, communicate with your siblings yeah. and cousins. Friends. And, you know, like friends too. You know, yeah, like... friends. Yeah, because my... My best friend Brucey has been very helpful as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. Cause uh, her dad is helping my aunt back in Ethiopia with mm-hmm. the funeral. Cause in Ethiopia, funerals are big. Like yeah, it's expensive. It's it's basically like throwing a wedding uh-huh. for a dead person. Yeah. Like you have to like. Everyone wears black. No, I get it. I get it. The whole village shows up. Yeah. You have to feed all of them. Mm -hmm. You need to, like, have space for all of them. So you set up tents. Yeah. So apparently when my grandpa or grandpa and grandma passed away, Mm -hmm. you know, because we were locked up in that small room Mm -hmm. listening to people crying. So, like, in Ethiopia... People are like super dramatic. Yeah. Like they, there's this tradition of like just getting it out. Uh huh. Or because you don't want to like hold it in, mm. like my brother is doing right now. Yeah. Like, um, just cry it out. Like there's people who are hired, who are called criers, uh-huh. who make people cry. Yeah. By like. Um, saying poems and mm-hmm. crying themselves, yeah, and then they help others to cry, and uh-huh. physically, it's a relief. Yeah, like you know, tell people, um, the act of crying mm-hmm. makes you feel better. It is a mm-hmm. physiological thing that our body does when we are experiencing pain, mm-hmm. whether it be physical or emotional. Yeah, because once we cry, we start releasing a chemical that like helps us mitigate pain oh okay so yeah i mean i think i told you oh it's a pain reliever it's a pain reliever oh okay. it's a pain it's a it's like our body's natural pain reliever mm. and so when we tell people don't cry i mean there mm. may be things that like you know it's over exaggerating but like you know we you know like we mm-hmm. build up to that sort of thing and like definitely yeah. like certain things is like it's okay to cry yeah yeah definitely it's okay to cry and let it out because like it's what the body needs Mm. right yeah that's that's yeah thanks for telling me that because that was helpful in me i was like okay i you know if i feel sad then yeah. i cry yeah i was like it's okay to be cry. like i remember he just telling you like if you need to cry just cry dude yeah just, just cry yeah you know and then yeah so like and i um went over to my aunt and then like by the time I had to go back. Like, yeah. I was thinking of coming back here. Uh-huh. And it would have taken an hour. Yeah. At night. Yeah, I was with, like... With no traffic. Yeah, like, I was like... I think for you, I messaged like, okay, like, you fine, you staying over? Because I was, like, assuming that you are just going to stay over. Oh, okay, like, okay. At around, like, 7 o'clock. Like, at around 7 like, o'clock, I was, like, thinking... Yeah. 
Okay, she's staying over the night. Yeah, and then even Miki, when he was driving back, while he was driving, he called me and he's like, "Just stay there, don't yeah. drive." Yeah, I was like, "Okay." Yeah, because because I think he was feeling the tiredness. Yeah, you don't want to drive. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, he we, drove, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, I'll... it's because he was he had to pack and stuff. Yeah, like he's busy. Like yeah, your brother is dealing yeah. with a lot of stuff right yeah. now. He's moving. Yeah, he's your moving bro- to another state, yeah. and it all happened. Yeah, like, and this all happened really recently. So your brother's yeah. doing with like a lot of stuff. And right on Friday, yesterday, um, like I we had another elders meeting, mm-hmm. and I find out oh my great uncle also passed away today. Yeah, and I'm like oh my gosh, what well, like yeah. who else is gonna you know yeah. like what's going on in Ethiopia? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe it's COVID or something. Maybe. I, mean, I mean, I never heard the reason for. Yeah, my but it's like a lot point. of. I mean, there could be a lot of reasons. Too. Yeah. Like, I mean, he he was also old too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. there's that. Yep. Anyways, yeah, that's been our for realsies yeah. talk about like death and life. Oh, death and, and life. um, my like Brucey had a baby. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey. On uh, I think Monday. Dang. So like yeah, death and life. Death and life. And people. then I became a godmother, godmother yeah. yesterday because I asked for it. Yeah. You, you you messaged me like after the fact and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah. With responsibilities. Being, yeah. Because uh, I didn't know that on top of being like the fallback for your parents passing away. Mm-hmm. You're also supposed to be like there the for like confirmation and stuff like the that. The religious <laughs> aspect of your yeah. upbringing, yeah, and like being there for the <laughs> christening. And uh, I guess helping them read the Bible or something. Yeah. I I don't know. You know it's not it's not no actually idea. that active. It's not actually that active. That act- like my godparents were just there for my like communion and my confirmation. That's about it. Oh my gosh, that sounds really like because I still <clears throat> communicate with my godmother. Okay. I'm pretty close. Like my mom makes sure that like she's best friends with my godmother. Okay. Okay. And apparently like. All her friends wanted to be my godmother. Huh. And she's like, oh yeah, technically all of them are your godmother. <laughs> <laughs> I, my family is definitely not as like super. They're very involved. formal about like, okay, <clears throat> they need to be Catholic. Yeah. And they, they have to be present for your christening and for your baptism, right? Or like baptism, communion, and confirmation. Oh, okay. I think that's where Catholics going on. Commun- you know, like where we, where you know, we're old enough to eat the bread, oh. and then confirmation is where we confirm we're going to the cup, we're joining the faith, we're joining the faith, mm. that sort of thing. Oh, okay, they were there. Yeah, at least for like when you're like below eighteen, and then after eighteen, it's like, well, you're fine. Like, <laughs> whatever. So you don't like you don't have the phone number to your god. I mean, there's my uncles and aunt. There's my uncles oh, and okay. Aunt, so it's like you know, it's like whatever you know. It's like they're just oh, family. okay, okay. They're family. Okay, they're family. Interesting, because in on my on my mom's side, it's it's never family. It's oh, like it's how family? you make connection oh, with like okay, okay. non family members. In like for me, for my family, it's like always family. Oh. It's like always family, because like family is like the closest you got, right? Yeah, you know? I mean, but isn't it like a nice way of, you know, like for your best friend to be like connected with you in like other than, I mean, you know, like you can't marry yeah. your, you know, like unless it's a romantic thing, yeah. you can't marry your best friend, but you, they can You can be... give them your kid. <laughs> yes, that, that is, that is it. Uh... That's weird. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, 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 I'm like, nah, like, it's... It, or it's kind of more like... It's a big responsibility, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a big responsibility, mm-hmm. and, like, you, you, sometimes you just want, like, you know, I feel like, you know... You trust you your trust family more. You trust my family more, you mm-hmm. know, with it, you know, with it, right? Okay. Okay. You know? Hmm. So I guess I signed up for something that's pretty a big important. Deal. Yeah, a pretty big deal. You know, mm-hmm. like it's less about like for me, it's less about like the relationship between the agreement and more about are you okay with raising my kid if I die? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. It's like, uh, who can you I trust with my child? Like, who can I trust with my child after mm. death? Like, after death? That's, like, the most important thing. Yeah. Right? Who can I trust to raise my kid in a responsible way? And mm. I think that's, that is what is the most important part of things. So it could be, it can be, like, your best friend. Or it could be, mm. your, like, your family. Or it could be your family, right? Okay. It's just, like, who you feel is going to take care of kid the best mm. right yeah because the way i was seeing it is like making unbreakable connections between the families <laughs> okay i mean that's like that's like i guess that is like the result of it but that shouldn't be like the main thing to think about otherwise you start getting to game of thrones level of like thinking of like oh i've raised i i am their god i am their oh, god parents they do that in... or like marriage it's like it's the same thing as marriage right it's mm, like oh marriage like a business deal. yeah it's like a it's more of like a deal or like mm. oh building connections between families Right? Oh. And it becomes less, it becomes more of that than it is like the actual intent of like. It's like when you're growing your mafia family. Yeah, something like that. You're right? like, my, this is my best war buddy, so I'll give my, yeah. my child's, you know. Yeah, it's like less yeah. about your child and more about like your war buddy, you know, mm. like your war buddy, right? When the whole thing about this is it's about the child, mm. right? That's how I feel. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. I think it can be both. Yeah. I think, like, it's definitely, like, priority-wise, it's, like, the child. Mm. Since it's, like, their life. Mm -hmm. the, it's, mm -hmm. like, their, like... Yeah, yeah. Well-being. Yeah. Well -being. yeah. But, yeah, so yeah. that's... I think you're a good choice. You're a good choice. If we if we yeah. have to take care of Brucey's kids, we'll take good care of Brucey's kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll be, uh... They'll they'll uh, they'll weirdly enough get an Asian dad, and all of a sudden they'll have to get need to get straight A's in all their classes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have to study all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's a nice setup. Yeah, nice setup. Yeah. All right. I think that's a good. I think we can end it there. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification and all that jazz. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.